a crazy effect on something. And sometimes I like to cycle through stuff. Let's hear something. Yeah, so y'all get the picture, right? Oh, we could find some really cool sounds off of that and sample it. Um, let's put that on. Let's put that off to the side for a second here. We're just going to just take a second here. I'm going to open up Contact. Yeah, I realize that I'm running like an old version of Contact. You guys are you guys are all like on like what version of Contact? You guys are on like seven or something. I'm on motherfucking five. I got to get the new one. Thankfully, I have somebody help me out with that right now. But man, I'm running on the old versions here. Okay, we got the drums off to the side. I wanted to open up Contact because there's a lot of really great libraries on here. So many good ones, man. It's incredible. I was thinking maybe it'd be fun to open up this. I got this Auras, this, this Auras one the other day. And wow, it's good. I don't know if you guys have been messing with this Aura's sound library, but so many just phenomenal patches. So I was kind of thinking, let's let's just run through a couple sounds and, and see. <laughs> My voice is soothing. Yo, Sp Sp Sparky, you're hilarious. Okay, so I, I will check this out. Really dreamy, right? That's really beautiful. So let's just grab the, the, the MIDI data from that. And um, let's just quickly just grab the loop. It started on there. It did that. It kind of went there. It was pretty much around, it should be eight bars anyways. Let me shorten whatever this was, whatever was happening with this. Let me shorten it. And uh, let's hit play for a second. Okay, okay, check this out. Oh. Okay, let's... See if this will work. Oh, the cheat codes. Well, guys, it's nice. You know, you gotta use you gotta use the tools we have. You know what I mean? You gotta use the tools we got. So check out this beautiful pad. You know what? Let me tell you something else though. 
cheat codes are fires. The cheat codes are super fire, no doubt. But honestly, some some of my favorite stuff is always stuff that I've just manually done. You guys have never seen me like manually program anything. Some of my favorite stuff has been manually programmed. Not taking anything away from the cheat codes. I'm I'm just saying. I guess that's part of being human and and um, having you know having your own taste. So check this out. We got this beautiful dreamy wavy thing. I'm going to throw a uh, shaper box on it for a second and let's get it kind of trancing. There's a really great reverb called Shimmer. And I'm going to put it in its own in its own channel. And I'm going to turn up the feedback. Now, if you guys can hear that feedback, it's an, octan up, uh, it's an octave up, so it's just sweeping up. But something else I've been doing that's kind of been fun to do is, is spreading out the verb and making it even wider. So you can do that with really anything. Let's just use the default utility and just uh, go 200 on this. You see how it comes alive? I don't really care if it's in or out of phase right now. I don't really care. It just sounds better. Beautiful. Let's go back to the drums. I'm going to take off the distort the the rift plugin for one second let's just go uh just raw off the off xo and let's just do random and see what vibes come up the one thing we're gonna run into is is i don't have the tempos locked shit this is hard so we gotta roll with this. This is sick. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put the host at 153 right now, and uh, let's. Oh no, never mind. I gotta go back to what it was. This is this is perfect. I, I thought we were running at two different tempos. That's why I was saying what I just said. But it's all good. We're actually locked in 136. Yo, this is hard. So so now let's with rift. Let's open up rift and see if we can push it.
Okay. Let's go back to, to the XO plugin now. And um, let's go try out some different sounds real quick. So many good options. such a just feels so warehouse so yo maybe just the kick is a little weird let's mute the kick for a second oh so there's already some other kick information going on let me mute the other kick track oh maybe it's up here oh shit okay so but but I love that right here just like this hard and that kick is, is the wrong kick let's cycle through some options either way I'm gonna mute it and you know what else I'm gonna do Too much it's too much right now we don't want all that right now it's too hot too hot chill out fam but i love the just i love the um i love the contrast between like the ambient dreamy stuff so and I love just this beat. So now this is all good. You know what I what I would do now is what I would do now is I would just take a step back. I would actually um, duplicate contact here. Let's open it up. Let's remove. Mm, no, nah, let's not remove anything. Let's actually keep it, and let's run through a few other patches. And it looks like we got a really beautiful one right off the first one. I used to use, um, when I was first uh, doing shows, I was, I was using Ableton. Um, but I've been having so much fun with CDJs. I think in the future, I think I'll put together some Ableton shows where I'll probably have a bunch of uh, really amazing little moments where I, I program it with Ableton and all that. But for now, I'm for now I'm having fun just using CDJs. They're really fun instruments, man. Holy shit, you could do so much fun stuff with them. Um, so we got the sound here. Might might be too wavy, but I'm kind of feeling this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mute the drums for a second. Let's hear just the the pad that we got.
That's what's up. That was that was crazy. I love that. What do you guys think? You guys talking shit? Yeah, the thing the thing is I want to drop the drums too, but I'm honestly just vibing on this too. No, I do everything in Ableton. I do everything in Ableton. I'm not playing games anymore. I'm not making my life any more difficult, guys. I'm just doing everything in Ableton. It's really simple. Y'all looking at crypto? Looks like it's trying to go. Looks like it's trying to go. We'll see. see double bottom double bottom but we'll see what happens here anyways back to the music You know, the only thing I would really do right now want to push it out. Just push it out a little bit further. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on the on the second instrument. Change the values. Mm. I duplicated contact. 
and I'm gonna delete all the plugins and I'm gonna open up and um, it'd be nice to play with some keys it'd be nice to play something something that like even a, even Alicia Keys' piano I, this, is, this is my favorite piano by the way yo my, this, I used to play this piano for everything it's my favorite one but that's not the one I'm feeling right now I got all this great Spitfire stuff but since I got the new M1 all of my libraries stopped working and I tried doing their work around so many times it's just not working so I've had to kind of stop using their stuff we got this hybrid keys here. We got tapes 01. Let's check out tapes. Yo, we're looking for help on a lot of levels, by the way. Okay, so on the sound library, I'm going to go to the keys library here. And I'm going to go to not the organ shit. I don't want the 80s stuff. I don't maybe amp. let's start with amped and just work our way down and see what sounds we get. Let me switch the camera. Yeah, these keys are amazing. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go to the next one. So many sounds. You can get so much out of them depending on how you play them. This sound, when you hold it, is perfect. The only thing is, is we got to listen to what the original vibe is. Hey, we got, we got my friend Jen Stark up in here. Jen is the best. You guys all need to check her out. Check out her work. She's the best human being ever. So I saw a question earlier. Is this 432 hertz? No, it's uh, it's 440. Um, sorry, y'all. It's too hard. It's you know the truth is is like all of these plugins and all of these. All the plugins, all the sound libraries, you know, everyone does their thing to 440. And then, it, so you got to manually go into all these instruments. You got to manually do 432. And then when you jump across projects, the thing that is the most annoying part is that, like, uh, it's not, it doesn't save, like, whatever you have your tuning set to on a lot of these plugins, it, it, um, it doesn't remember it when you jump across different sessions. So I'm working with a ton of projects that are 440, Working, and then I'm doing all this Joy Odyssey stuff that's 432. It's just a disaster. So what, I, what I'm doing is I'm doing everything 440 in 440 hertz. And then when I'm actually getting ready to bounce it out, like for real, then I'll transfer it to 432. And uh, I'll usually just literally do that in a whole different way. But 
So sorry, guys, that's like the super long end story of the 432, 440 thing. But that's been the best way to make it work. I, I don't see, you know, unless Ableton just like locks in the pitch on on the on the DAW side of things and then all the plugins just listen to whatever the DAW has it set at. I mean, that would be the most helpful. That's how they should do it. Ableton and all the DAWs should actually in each session control and have the power to say what the tuning of the song is in and all plugins should just get that information from the DAW and it should be it should be song specific and then that should allow everyone to do music in all the different tunings that they want but instead right now we're all locked into 440 and it just sucks man cuz the other tunings are legitimately better they sound better they play better so I don't know. I think we'll. I don't know. Right now it's not happening, but obviously there's room for change. Back to the music, y'all. We got this beautiful melody. We got this counter melody. We got these new keys. I'm trying to introduce. I'm loving this vibe. I don't want to do drums just yet. My head doesn't care about the drums right now. I don't know why. My head just is like I got a headache hearing the drums. I just want to hear this vibe. And we'll, and we'll get we'll get to the drums later though. So let's just hit play on this. I'm going to throw a reverb on this piano that I'm about to, to play. And I just want it to be like a little space echo, maybe. And I'm going to turn it down by 6 dB. And let's... I think I, I think I know where I want to take this, but we're going to see what's up.
I put the panning on the dry signal and I'm putting a panner on the wet signal. I'm gonna put decapitator on it before it hits anything. Just wanna get a little bit more. Put a little delay on it. Push it back a little bit. Feels right at about 20. So what I want to do now is we got these super dreamy, super, vi super vibey, everything is cool. I'm going to group it all. I'm going to group it all. Let's, let's throw some things on it and let's see if we can push it. Uh, I'm going to put portal on it let's see is this the right one i think it might be let's see Damn, that sounds amazing. Trippy, but that sounds amazing. So I want to see like how off... I, I, I'm not sure where that is relative to the beat. So I'm going to throw back in the drums. I hope it's not overpowering. Kind of almost just want to hear it on just like a regular kick drum. But let's just fuck it. Let's just hear how it sounds with, with what we did with XO before. Let's see. It's not going to work. I'm going to mute the kick drums. Take off Volcano. Okay, so let, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw this ROM, ROM plugin on the drums real quick, and let's go through some presets. Sometimes it's fun to scroll through presets and just you can quickly see what it is.
Oh, now check this out. We're gonna throw all of this in. Check out this new plugin I tried out the other day. It's called Needlepoint. This plugin's amazing. I'm gonna run through some different presets and you guys will see right away. So, we got this amazing, super dreamy vibe. We got this clap coming in. We got all this really beautiful stuff, but I, wanna, I want a little bit more definition. So it's cool. Now, in my mind, I'm treating that as if that's just one sample. We have access to all the layers within it. I have it grouped up and... Now I'm just almost thinking like, okay, well, let me just play with the new sound now. And um, so I opened up Contact. I uh, went back to that library. It's called Tapes. Tapes 01. And um, now I'm looking at the different categories of sounds we have, and I see a couple of things I'm just curious about. There's something here called Tape Loop. It's a dry scanner. I have no idea what that even means. Let's go hear how it sounds. That's crazy. Oh shit. You know, I already know all of these sounds are going to be so amazing, but right now we just want we just want regular sounds for a second. We just want some regular sounds. We do not want trippy sounds right now. And um, I kind of already know exactly, you know, I think I was able to get on my Spitfire libraries, I think I was able to get the piano. I just kind of want like a really nice piano right now. Let's see, was it the felt piano? No, maybe it was the firewood. There we go. Okay, cool. So well, all we're going to do now is we're going to turn down the super dreamy loop we have. We're going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to bring it down 3, 4 dB. And um, we can turn up this piano a couple dB because I already know the, the balance was a little off. And uh, now we're going to hit play. And I'm going to just play also and see what what we can do. Oh, also... I'm gonna put half time.
Okay, guys, sorry. I'm just, I just put halftime on the loop. I'm gonna take off half time for a second. I turned down this loop. This loop's so loud. This piano is beautiful. But. Let's throw an arpeggiator on it. Speed it up. Something like this. I'm gonna turn up the gate. That's pretty beautiful. It's pretty... Pretty beautiful. Okay, I have no idea how that's going to work with the other loop, but we're going to make it work. Let's turn up this crazy vibey loop. It might be dropping in and out too much. That's, that's because of Portal. We got to change the portal settings here.
Something like that. Something like that. Just adjusting some of the mic placements of all the samples. We're gonna turn down all the crazy samples in the background. Now I think it's a good time to start doing some more drums. I love starting with textures. Anything, any textures. I feel like with this one we should probably just start from scratch. I feel like let's pull up Mix Library. He has some incredible sounds. Since I did, since I found his library, it's been awesome. All his sounds have so much character.
Let's go on Splice. Let's find some loop packs. All of our power tools. Yeah, I have no idea what loop packs we should look at right now. But let's find anything. I don't even know what it is that we're making right now. Summer breaks. Sure. Let's see what's up. No, we just want the drums, y'all. We just want the drums. And I don't think there's any drums in this library. So let's go to another electric garage house. We want full loops. <laughs> I love it. That's what I want. Let's get it. Let's buy it. It's bought. We're going to import it now. I can't explain it, guys. I just want percussion sound. And that will do. If we need to, we'll load it up and we'll chop it up. And we'll do all that other stuff. But for now, this will be perfect. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm trying to figure out why we, we're not getting the browsers making any sounds right now. I'm going to copy the link we were just at. Close Chrome. Reopen it. See if we get sound. There we go. I don't want crazy kicks just yet. Don't want the crazy kicks just yet. Oh, and then we just like that, we lost the sound. That's crazy. I wonder why. Too bad. I'm going to refresh it one more time. Going to give them one more chance. Switch it back to Ableton for a second. Yeah, guys, sometimes when you're making stuff, you just have no idea where you're going. And that's really okay.
I decided I'm gonna run a base right now. There's all this beautiful space for it. I'm not thinking about phase issues on base and I'm not thinking about the other shit at all. the reason why I do music is because of Radiohead. It's like, I always just found so much love from their music, man. Like they always, they were always crushing it. I mean, they still do. wanted the notes to go down on this bass progression and I couldn't figure out the end but I know that I wanted these three notes to be the ones for sure. So on the arpeggiated piano, I noticed that the sustain is not triggering. 
and it needs to come on almost right away. So let's move this data over so that it triggers almost right away and we can fix the other sustain. And now let's hear this. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, well, what's up, A the Moski? <laughs> it's so hard to read y'all's name on here, you know? And honestly, I'm kind of notorious for butchering people's names in general. Oh, thanks so much for coming. I appreciate the kind words. Yo, it's really awesome to be able to be making music and talking shit and seeing you guys write messages. This is amazing. We're going to do things soon. Well, I got to be honest with you guys. It's going to be a really crazy couple weeks ahead, man. There's a lot going on. I may, uh, I may have to not do, I may not be doing next week's stream. Uh, because I might not be able to, but I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to try to do like a, a remote stream. I'm not going to be, you know, I'm going to be traveling y'all. So it's going to be tough, but I'm, I'm going to try to pull it off. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted one way or another, um, on that. But anyways, let's get back to this. Cause this is crazy. Oh, you guys know it's it's been an hour already. Holy shit, time flies. It's crazy. Let's keep going for a little bit more. Okay, so I opened up a new plugin. It's uh, it's from Spitfire. It's called London Contemporary Orchestra Textures, and I uh, threw this patch called Abandoned Voices. I have no idea what it sounds like. Sounds perfect.
sick. filter this for a second. It's really beautiful. It has so much great stuff in it. If um if I were working with the singer right now Man, we could do so much crazy stuff with this loop. So much room. Let's filter for a second. For some reason on the stream, I'm not the craziest about going into arrangement view and properly arranging a song. I don't know why. It feels like restricting kind of. But what well, well, we we probably should actually do that really to be honest. Because um Because right now, this this should start to break down. Some different sounds should come in and out right now. some nice plucking plucking sounds
Let's just do a steady hi-hat pattern. What's up, Sydney?
Okay, well guys, this is this is fine for now. Anyways, I'm gonna throw this all in a group right now, and I'm gonna throw homicide on it. Let's get crazy with it. Let's have some fun here. So this is beautiful. This is a great vibe. I still want more. So let's go back to this beautiful sound. Yeah, the, and the kick is the kick is distorting fucking crazy, but I'm I'm not fixing that right now. I'm not fixing that right now. Although you know it's actually distorting too crazy there. You're not you're not really not wrong. It's it's honestly fucking out of hand. Let's throw it in. Let's throw it in. Let's let's fix that. Let's just fix it. It takes one second. getting questions on this we're getting questions about custom drum template templates no no guys there's like uh there's plugins you, you can use like so many drum plugins have like custom midi stuff i don't have any i just all, all i have the most i have is like custom um grooves if i'm like programming stuff from scratch you can download custom groove templates like regarding like the quantization or swing of all this like stuff and you can get that stuff for free online that's just, that's uh, most. That's all I have here. That's all this is here. Um, but I I honestly rarely, you know. Not too often do I really dive into this too much. But it is helpful and it has incredible swing and all that stuff. Okay, back to back to the music, y'all. We got we got we got a lot of good stuff here. We got this great vibe. I just want more. I want I want more definition melodically. So that's what I'm gonna try to figure out right now.
playing in the right octave right now. I don't think I'm playing in the right octave right now, and I don't think that's the right sound. And I don't think, I don't even think this is the right library. These sounds are all not the right sounds. But man, they're fun to play with. These great, great samples. Great samples, my God. But not, it's not, we don't need that vibe right now. We need just another vibe. Let's see what this, let's see what's up with this library. I've tried to use it a few times and I don't know, I haven't, I haven't found, I haven't figured it out yet. Or no, I haven't played with this library, sorry. Okay, y'all, I think, um,
all these sounds are not going to be it. Oh, look what it, see, you got to be careful what you say. As soon as I said that, look at that sound. Yeah, I tried God Particle. God Particle is fire. I love God Particle. I use that. I use that all the time now. So good. So, I'm still trying to decorate. I'm still decorating. Um, sounds pretty done to me, but I'm, de I'm like in terms of this, this loop. Sounds good because I feel like there should be different sections and stuff. But, uh, but I also I just felt like I wanted to see if I could pull a different sound out. See if we can decorate it one more time. So let's hit play and let's see what we can do. And this sound is coming off the Udo Super 6. I'm not looking at my master. I don't care. Also, the kick drum is still peaking. It's the, the kick drum is not ideal. There's tons of stuff, guys, of course. But none of that is fun. Right now, I'm, I'm just adding, right? There's, there's different layers to creating. So, you know, that's why, like, on these live streams, we can only cover so much, guys, you know? There's a lot of different levels. So, just we'll, we'll mix it a little bit better later. It's all good. Right now, we're just adding. We're just figuring out what are the keys we're adding and... And yeah, like, sure, I can move this down a little bit. I can move this master down a little bit. But now, I gotta turn my headphones up. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do all that. I wanna just, I wanted this. I'll worry about it later. Or, you know, I could just throw a standard clip on it. I, you know, maybe that might...
like that. But you want to know what's hilarious is it's it's not coming up on Ableton, and I have to restart it. It's a bug. So I saw somebody on the comments say, "Just run it on Diva," and you know what? You're not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, sir. Let's pull it up on Diva. Let me mute the the hardware synth. Let's just load up a patch. I think it's like this Opera 7 patch or 8. What I'm hearing more than anything is I'm hearing just a whole new beat, really.
this was crazy. This was... This was a really nice vibe, y'all. What, what a pleasant surprise. I wasn't sure what we were going to do tonight exactly. And, um... Feels like, like always, things always kind of find its way. So nice, man. We could do so many different directions and vibes with this. And... We can do... But also, I just loved... I just loved the ethereal vibe of it. I love the voice. I love the arpeggiated piano. And then I even loved... I even loved, like, the little drum idea. Last man. I love y'all so much. I love coming on here. I love doing these streams. Feel free to share and pass these streams along to friends that you know think would would, would get would get something out of it or enjoy it. Um I love making them. I love cooking up with y'all and I hope it helps y'all in, in when you guys cook up too. You know, I love always getting the latest sounds and I love using all the latest tech and doing stuff. So, so like I said, for next week, we're going to, tr you know, we're going to try to make it happen. I'm going to try to do the stream. I'm going to do my best. Uh, it's going to be a remote stream if we can make it happen. I won't have any of the gear, you know, I'm not going to have any of the gear that I have here, but we're, we're going to make it work if we can make it work. And if not, we'll just have to reschedule it. But I'll do my best, y'all. And uh, I, wonder if, I wonder if there's anything else we need to cover. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have some live on-air dancers. It's going to be incredible. Next week's stream is going to be crazy. Um, all right, y'all, I've been up, I've been up since the sun, since the sun cracked, I've been up, so I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to dial it back, it's been a great show, apparently the best show ever, from Jen Stark, floating spaces, sending good energy, thank you, love your comments, and love seeing y'all chime in on the stream, Thanks y'all for for all the good energy. Let's leave it at that. Have a beautiful night. Take care everyone. Peace. <laughs>